Hey everyone, I'm Robert Paris, filling in for Anthony Matos, and welcome to another edition of B News Sports Up. Today we are focusing on the BH's girls gymnastics team, which as of this taping are 6-0. We'll chat with senior captains Caroline Russo, Rachel Swain, and Ava Shank Davis, and senior Camila Palayo, as well as coach Michelle Gillis. We'll also have our players spotlight and red bill review. That's what's on deck here on B News Sports Up. Welcome to the Red Delta Review. Girls Varsity Gymnastics has seen quite a following at BHS, including the head coach, Michelle Gillis, who was part of the team back in the day. Gillis is an 86 graduate and was a member of the gymnastics program for four years as a devil. Michelle was a four-time league MVP, Middlesex League All-Star, Lowell Sun All-Star, Boston Globe All-Scholastics and Qualifier in the state meets. Not to mention, State Gymnast of the Year in 86 and a Burlington High Athletic Hall of Fame inductee. After high school, she kept on competing in the sport during her time at UMass Amherst from 87 to 90 and was elected captain in her senior year. Michelle returned to BHS in 2008 to become the head coach of the girls team. Her sister, Lisa Petruzzi, has been a four-year assistant since the 2020 season. In 2023, Burlington finished 7-1 and lost in the season opener to the Reading Rockets 144-139. However, after this loss, the Devils went on a seven-game winning streak against Winchester, Arlington, Melrose, Woburn, Wakefield, Wilmington, and Stoneham. The team competed in the MIAA sectionals tournament, finishing in 7th place out of 12 with a score of 140.26. Jenna Leonidas, Samantha Wynn, and Katrina Mermiris were the three athletes to depart. Gillis said that the seniors were a very hard group to lose and were very dependable in the events, most notably scoring nine points or higher. Athletes returned to the mat this winter, including seven starters. Ilex Fowler, Camilo Pileo, Caroline Russo, Ava Shank Davis, Rachel Swain, Jillian Gillis, and Kelsey Condon. Gillis and Condon did not compete as Condon was injured and Gillis became the team manager, keeping the scores at each meet. The team had a number of newcomers this year, including Akshara Argawal, Mackenzie Carter, Carly Dickey, Angela Fodoulis, Karushi Patel, and Viviana Paleo. This year, the athletes started out the season red hot with a six game winning streak, defeating Woburn slash Winchester, Melrose, Wakefield, Wilmington, and Stoneham. On another note, senior Ava Shink Davis was accepted to Cornell University coming this fall, where she will continue her gymnastics career at the college level. Gillis had said that Shink Davis has been a leader for this team in her senior year for their outstanding performance on floor, balance beam, and bars. Here's a feature we did with Ava in January. Cornell University is where Ava Shank Davis will be going this fall after she received an acceptance letter. It was a letter of intent, but it was sort of not an official one just yet since I can't do it until we're actually into the school. So that's the letter I got. But it was saying that I'm going for gymnastics at Cornell. Head coach Michelle Gillis has seen Ava grow as a freshman. Now, as a senior captain, she has been a mentor to the younger athletes on the team. So she's doing a great job as one of our captains. So she teaches them, she shows them, um, she just takes them under her wing and just really makes them feel comfortable as they're learning. The season is not over just yet, but Ava knows that this will be the last time she'll be competing as a Red Devil. So it was really great to be a part of a team and contribute to a team. That's going to be how college is like. And I just learned how to like work with the other girls really well and just learn from them and like different things that they've taught me. Like how to just be calmer and just enjoy the sport more. So, what was Ava's favorite events to compete in? I really enjoy doing bars and floor, but especially floor since I can just like dance around and just have fun out there. 
The next chapter awaits for the star athlete on the floor for the Cornell Big Reds. I hope she's learned that gymnastics is a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And to just accept what you do and be happy with it and do it for the love of it. I'm really just going to miss competing with all the girls here. They really, truly are such good friends of mine. But I'm looking forward to all the meets at Cornell and just getting to know all the girls there because they're all really nice, and I'm just super excited for that. From Burlington High School, I'm Robert Paris for B News Sports. <laughs> Burlington was unable to finish the year with a perfect record as the Reading Rockets spoiled their regular season finale. The Devils closed out the regular season at 6-1 and, and hosted the Middlesex League Championship meet, where they came in second place out of ninth. The Devils scored 139 points in the meet, and Shink Davis finished in first, first place with 37.6 points in, in her all-around performance. I want to congratulate the seniors on all their hard work they have put into their four years on the mat. It will be interesting to see what they can accomplish in college if they decide to continue the sport. And that is all for your Red Devil Review. Let's get back to the show. We're back here with the head coach of girls gymnastics, Michelle Gillis. Michelle, thank you for coming on to the show. Thanks for having me. So first off, just talk a little about, I know gymnastics is part of your history, so talk a little about how you became the coach back in your hometown. Yeah, um, it was super exciting. I used to coach in Wilmington. And um, once I had some small children, I had stopped coaching. And one of the coaches here at Burlington was having a baby as well and asked if um, I would step in and help out and do a maternity leave. So that's how I began. The history uh, took over from there. Yes. So let's talk a little back, back in the 80s, 87 to 90. You went to UMass and you were a gymnast there. Before that, you yep. did all four years at BHS class of 86. So just talk a little about, yeah. before we talk about UMass, let's just talk a little about yeah. BHS and that experience. Yeah, um, that was a pretty amazing experience. Um, we had a really great team and for four years, out of the four years, we won the league championship three. So that was pretty exciting. Um, we still see each other, team members. Um, so that's really nice. And I learned a lot from my coach, Miss Warner, and I tried to bring that into coaching and loved it so much, I continued in college. And talk about the college experience. Yep, that was uh, pretty amazing as well, doing college gymnastics. There was a lot of travel involved, a lot of team camaraderie, and a lot of hard work, but um, I found it very rewarding. Now you have a lot of accolades, as I saw, I was checking it out late, earlier, and you were the BHS Athletic Hall of Fame inductees. So just talk a little about uh, when that happened and uh, your thoughts on it. Yeah, I don't remember the year exactly. Um, I think it was 2003 or four, somewhere around there. Um, and it was quite an honor to have that experience. And then I was able to join the committee for a short period of time before I became a head coach. And it's just an amazing um, process to screen and, and choose people for the Hall of Fame. So we got some family in the mix. You have your sister yeah. as the assistant coach who yeah. helped back in uh, 2020. That's when she started for so for four years. Yeah. And then you coached your daughters. Talk a little about yeah. that experience. Yeah, um, that was a lot of fun. So when COVID hit, we needed some extra support with an assistant coach. So my sister stepped up, although she did work with me in Wilmington for a couple <laughs> of years. So it wasn't unusual for her to you know, coach. And it was pretty exciting to coach for a few years to get my bearing and then to have my daughters on the team. Um, it's definitely interesting to coach from the other side, having your daughter in the gym, in the meet with you, as opposed to being the spectator watching them. Now, I'm sure you probably saw your son, Sam, who was yep. on the boys team with Jordan. Just talk a little bit, do you ever been to any of his meets as well and to watch him? Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We um, could watch him compete and overlapped in the gym. So yep, that was a fun experience. So just talk a little about uh, the meets yeah. overall. Like, what do you look forward to as you prep for all of them? Mm -hmm. I know sometimes there's like meets every other day or once a week. So just talk a little about yeah. that. Yeah, that's a hard thing to pace. Um, so this season we tried to do a tri meet to relieve the girls of having too many meets in one week. We tried to find a week off to let them recuperate because it is a pretty heavy, grueling schedule. And some of the girls also do club gymnastics. So we try to balance and keep them healthy. Um, but we really just prep by doing routines and having fun. <laughs> and you're going to host the Middlesex League yeah. meet as of this taping. Yeah. So just talk a little about that with all the other Middlesex teams. Yeah, it's going to be a very exciting <laughs> meet. So we hope people come watch. Um, we have 
really great friendships with the other teams. A lot of the girls know each other, they support each other. So we're just looking to um, hit all events and do our best. Now you had a big winning streak this season and then yeah. unfortunately <laughs> It came to a close with Reading. I know that's yeah. all. Reading's always a tough team for yes. you guys. Just talk a little about that. Yeah, um, we started off and the meets, our first meet was a tri meet and it was a little rocky. So we hit the gym and said we need to do a lot of work and fix a lot of things. And the girls stepped up. They did amazing changes to their routines. And then we had a streak of seven in a row. Uh, we were hoping to not break that streak, but we did last night with Reading. They are always very, very strong. So it was close. So talk about before that meet, just talk about how the team did so well at that, until that point. Yeah, um, they banded together and they worked extra hard, came in extra, helped each other, improved their routines and just really buckled down. They knew they needed to do that to progress. So talk about the seven seniors. I know that's yeah. a lot. I know we had senior night yeah. last week, but I I'll, won't go to that question just yet. So just talk about yeah. each of the seniors and what they really mean to the team. Yeah. Um, so um, Kelsey Condon is one of our managers. She was a gymnast, but she was injured, so she has not been able to participate. But she's been very instrumental in helping us with the managerial side. Um, Jillian was on the team for four years. She competed for two, but switched over to more manager. Um, so we've used her expertise in both coaching and at the score table. And then we have five um, seniors that were instrumental in competing and really scoring and bringing us to the level that we're at. Um, Rachel has competed faithfully and is one of our hardest workers. She was injured. She came back from an injury where they said she wasn't going to have a season and she was able to compete. So we're very proud of her work. Um, Ava, Ava is our top scorer. She's been probably the gymnast that had the most nine fives in Burlington history. She is an all around gymnast and without her, we would not have the success that we've had. Um, Ilex Fowler is another gymnast who has been on the team for four years. Also, um, we depend on her. She was our beam queen who always sticks beam and has competed and brought us really, I think, to the level we're at this year. She's really done a nice job. Um, Caroline Russo has been on the team for four years, has been a very steady on both vault and beam. Also one of our beam queens who we depend on, um, a hard worker, excellent role model. And then Camilla Paleo is, she joined us her junior year and we're very grateful that she did. She has competed all around for us this year in some meets and we've come to depend on her, her positivity, her hard work, and just a great addition to have the last two years. So just talk a little about your daughter as the manager for this season. Yeah, um, so it's interesting because she has the background in gymnastics and coaching, but she also understands how the scores work, the score table. So I do depend on her a lot, and I probably put a little more pressure on her than I should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so just talk about how the seniors lead by example. Yeah, um, so they are always upbeat. They're always talking to the underclassmen encouraging them, spotting them, helping them, just letting them know like this is what you need to do, you can do it. Um, they really rallied last night when we didn't win the meet. Um, they really supported each other and the seniors led by just example again of taking it, understanding it and saying we're going to do better on Monday night. Now senior night, I know mm -hmm. it was I believe last week so just yeah. talk a little about just the emotions going on between yeah. the, you and the athletes and the parents and their yeah. friends. I know it was, must have been a big night. It was a very big night. Um, I try to stay a little removed from the emotional side of it because every year I have to graduate a, a senior class. So it, I try not to get emotionally involved at the moment, but I am going to miss every one of them. They were super, super, super emotional. Um, they actually stayed in the gym with a bunch of the underclassmen and just sat for about an hour talking about what they're going to miss. So it's hard. And I know this is, we're going to talk about a couple years ago, you had the one undefeated championship in 2021. I know we did a B News special on that. So yeah. just talk a little about, I know, those seniors. I know we're going back a couple years, but just very, very briefly. If I could remember exactly that graduating it class. Was, uh, it was, um, <laughs> let's think, Jolene Russo was in it. We had, I believe... Oh, I think I remember yeah. that year. So yeah. my daughter was actually on that yeah. graduating. Yeah. Actually, no, no, she was not. No. I do not remember those kids. Exactly. I have to think about okay. that one. So I know you did. It all went undefeated. Yeah, and it was so. like, it was like a modified COVID thing. It and, was. And I know you got, you had uh, sweatshirts, yep. championships. So I know that was something, yep. but. Yep. 
So for the Middlesex League meet, mm-hmm. I know if you guys will will that like come with awards and stuff? Because I know I believe I did that one year with you guys, mm-hmm. and there was a bunch of awards after that. So just talk a little about yeah. like that last meet at that gym. Yep. Um, so the Middlesex League, they'll end up giving a trophy to the team that places first at that meet. Um, not exactly reflective of who the league champs are, but at that meet, they earn um, a trophy for winning. Um, and they do do individual places. Uh, I think the first top 10 get recognized for their work. So talk about the team bonding. What's that like? Um, they're a pretty tight group. They get together a lot. They spend time with each other in the gym. They drive each other around. We do pasta parties. They're just a really tight group because in gymnastics, it's, it's a sport that you do for many years, so they've known each other pretty much a lot, a long time. So how do the underclassmen look up to the seniors? Um, I think they're in awe, first, at their gymnastic ability. I mean, Ava is a super strong gymnast who can do things that most can't. So I think they look up to her for that skill level. I think they look up to all of the seniors for their sense of humor, because they all have their own personalities and they are all quite entertaining. (laughs) And we'll just talk about Ava for very briefly. Mm -hmm. She was going to Cornell to continue her gymnastics career. Just talk about uh, how she made this accomplishment and just your thoughts. Yeah, she's worked hard for many, many, many years. And the fact that she was able to do private club gymnastics and high school and handle all of it's pretty amazing. Um, She's very dedicated. She loves the sport. And what she says to the kids all the time before they go is just love it, just have fun. Um, And she loves it. So it's great to see. How do you motivate the team? They kind of motivate themselves. Um, I think a little pep talk, just reminding them that they know what they need to do and they can do it. And then they do motivate each other and push each other. And then just talk about working with your sister again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. It, it's nice to have, you know, her back because I think we could probably read each other's minds and can, don't even have to say what we need done <laughs> and that we know. And I think we just to balance. Let, to, let, to let the, yeah, I can't even say it. Yeah. To let the. I don't know. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that's kind of nice. And then we have different roles on the team. Sometimes, you know, she'll get in and do that supportive role. And other times I'm the heavy. And so it's nice to balance it. It's back and forth sort of yes. thing. Um, what are you going to miss from the seniors? I know that's a very big question. Yeah, I think the other day when we talked about it briefly, I think the word that summed it up was everything. Their positive attitude, their hard work their respect for their coaches, their respect for their school, their talent, um, because we had such talent, five talented seniors that were competing um, pretty much on all events. They actually could have all competed on all events. That's how well they all. And what was your biggest, what was your mindset going into this season, looking at that schedule for everyone? Yeah, Um, the mindset was, let's try to set it to the best schedule so that we can get the best out of them. And I think we did that. I think we were able to get the best out of each one of them during the meets. And what do you want to take away from the season overall? Hmm. Every year it's, you know, sort of, you look back and you think, what could, have I, what could I have done better? What could they have done better? But I think at this point, they really have stepped up. They are hitting every meet. So what do we take away from this? Hard work pays off. And they really pulled it together. Now, after the Middlesex League meet, yep. are we doing MIAA stuff? I know last year you guys yeah. did this. So just talk a little about anything planned for that mm-hmm. in the works. Yep. So I need to submit scores. So they have to qualify. But um, usually we have at least one gymnast. We know Ava will likely qualify for state individuals. And I'm hoping for a few more on the team. And then I also have to submit scores for the sectionals. And uh, we look pretty favorable to make it in. But I do have to send my scores in. So we're hoping for those two more two more meets. Let's cross our fingers. I know. Head coach Michelle Gillis, thank you for coming on to the Sports Hub. Thank you. I'm Brady. I'm Matt. I'm Anthony. We have a podcast called Just a Little Bias. A podcast for avid sports fans. Come check us out every Tuesday wherever you get your podcasts. And we're here on the Sports Hub. I'm here with two of the captains, Caroline Russo and Rachel Swain. Ladies, how are we this evening? How are you? Doing well. So right now, as of this taping, you are 6-0 and with a couple meets left. Just talk a little about performing so well this season. Um, I definitely think that we got off to a rough start in the beginning. Um, we had like a lot of injuries, including myself and Rachel, yeah. that we had to kind of work around with the lineup, and especially losing two of our um, 
two of our like highest um, scores last year it was definitely like putting us at the bottom to start off with but I feel like now we've kind of grown as a team and like we've gone closer and we've been able to kind of work together to get that all-around score that we wanted to win. Yeah I mean I'm so proud of how far we've come starting like we said rough um, we've come so far. And just talk about the changes that helped you get here so far. I mean we did a lot of like group bonding I feel like we're very close with our team and we practice and our worth ethic is really like it's really good. Yeah I feel like definitely like um, having more practices and becoming like getting the um, newcomers more comfortable with the environment has definitely been a good way to get um, our scores up higher and get um, us to be achieving more and getting new skills. And as captains, what do you do and are saying to motivate the team this season? So we have, at the beginning of the season, we have a hype playlist and we have all of the girls like add their songs to just get us like prepared for practice. I mean, we usually say like little motivating like speeches before we have practices, like the rundown of the week and before a meet, we usually say some words. Yeah, I definitely think that kind of just in practice getting the like the freshmen and the new people on the team like comfortable with the environment we kind of just like start to joke around with each other like develop more of a friendship and I feel like that's really helped um, the team become closer so let's talk about the underclassmen for a second how have you helped them along the way so we've all like gotten really close and like built a friendship and I feel like that really helps with getting them comfortable and then like finding out their strengths on the team helping them build with that. Mm -hmm. We do a lot, like, I know I take some of the underclassmen home from practice a lot, and that's another way that we've kind of, like, developed a bond with them. We go, we try and go out to, like, eat sometimes after practice. We kind of just try and create an environment that everyone feels comfortable in. So let's talk about Coach Gillis, or Michelle, <laughs> and how you refer to her. Um, how has she made you girls better athletes along the way since freshmen until now? I feel like she's taught us so much of how to be role models and be independent. Um, she's just a great coach. She's definitely um, one of the coaches I've had over the past couple of years that has been um, so understanding of everyone's schedule. Like if you have something going on, she's not going to push you to come to practice. Like if you have something outside that's more important, if you have schoolwork, that comes first. She's really kind of just understanding and when you're trying to like figure out like what you should put in your routine, she's always just like, what do you feel most comfortable doing? She never really, she pushes us, but she doesn't push us to do stuff that would put us in like any sort of um, uncom uncomfortableness. I don't know if that's a word, harm. but like any harm. Yeah. yeah. Anything that would like make us unhappy. So I feel like that's a really great thing that she's created for the team. I also feel like she makes the environment fun for us rather than like so much pressure. Mm -hmm. And just talk about why she chose you as the captains for this season. I mean, I feel like we have a lot of like, we stand out on the team and like, I feel like throughout the years we've had a lot of, been like a role model for like younger classmen and have also had the side of like being serious and having fun. Yeah, Rachel and I have been on the team since we've been freshmen and I feel like we've really grown as well as the other two captains have in a way that um, like during practice and in competitions like we're able to establish that like role of taking responsibility for the team. Now I'm going to throw you a curveball with one of the questions. We just had senior night last week or whenever this taping is so basically if you're watching this it could be a couple weeks away but we're going to talk about senior night. Uh, you guys were representing, I know, parents, family, friends. Just talk about that moment of senior night and just seeing basically the last time on the mat, just celebrating. I mean, it was really great. It was emotional. I was sad, but I was glad that everybody came and it was a great celebration. Yeah, I thought it was really great to finally like have some of our friends be there for once. Like it's, it's really hard throughout the week to have them come to specific meets, but I feel like it was really awesome to have like kind of a fan section for <laughs> once. Um, besides our parents, which is our parents are our number one supporters. They come mm -hmm. to all of our meets. Um, but I feel like senior night was really special and especially because we won and I feel like us seniors, us five seniors have like 
created such a close bond this year. So I feel like that was a really great night for us to like continue our growth of friendship. So just talk about the team bonding during the meets, during practices, and just um, out of school. Um, I feel like we try and do a lot of like, we try and like have fun practices. Like yeah. for example, last night we, we didn't really accomplish much at practice. <laughs> we kind of broke into some dancing, yeah. listening to music. Um, With our hype playlist. Yeah, we were playing on the whiteboard a little bit. I feel like we just kind of have some days where it's all seriousness and some days we have um, a less <laughs> motivation to do stuff, but I feel like that's good. Yeah, we also do a lot of like team, like team dinners and like going out like out of school and practice. I feel like that helps. Mm -hmm. And just talk a little about why you joined the gymnastics program. Just talk about your early ages and on towards high school. Do you want me to go? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I did club gymnastics for 12 years and then I quit and I thought that I was going to be done completely. I did cheer for a year and then I found out the high school team and I had no expectations. I thought it was going to be really strict coming from like a club team and it was probably the best thing I've ever done. Um, it was so much fun. Um, I have an older sister and she was on the team and I remember like being in middle school and going to her meets and saying like this looks like so much more fun compared to club which I've done my whole life too. Like it's such more laid back but it's also doing gymnastics which I love so I feel like that really like um, made me attracted to come do the sport for the high school too. So just talk a little about competing in front of your family and the judges. What do you like about that? I mean, I like the attention, right. but at the same <laughs> well, time... Obviously no one likes being like, judge, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. At the same you know time, I, mean? I don't, but it's also really fun to show off all the hard work you've done throughout the season, and they're great supporters. Yeah, I definitely feel like sometimes the judges, the judging is a lot of pressure, but yeah. when you stick that skill and you like make eye contact with the judge and you smile at them, and they smile back, you're like, yeah, you know. Yeah. You know that's a good feeling. Or, or when you land or you finish your routine and then your parents, you see your parents clapping for you. That's just like all around, just a great feeling. So just talk a little about what your favorite part about be being a gymnast and why? Cool flips. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not, every not everybody could do this. So being able to flip like crazy has been so much fun. And just like the people you meet and like you learn so much like to push yourself in ways you like wouldn't imagine. Yeah, I definitely think what Rachel said, like <laughs> doing the cool flips, like being able to do some stuff on a four inch beam is pretty cool. But I also think like she said, like the lessons it teaches you, it like allows you to like push yourself and kind of be vulnerable in front of people. Cause this sport, especially cause it's like an individual sport, it pushes you to like go out of your comfort zone, which I feel like is a really good thing. So what's your favorite events or event to compete in? I like floor and vault. I like dancing around, so. Yeah, I, I think I, my favorite's vault. Even though I do beam for high school, I have a love-hate relationship with it. <laughs> but I feel like, yeah, vault's probably my favorite. So how do your families, just talk a little about how they helped you both along the way. I mean, my parents have always been supportive, like through good and bad. They've always been there through injuries, like happy moments. Um, they've just been very supportive. Yeah, definitely um, the same with my parents. Um, my mom is definitely like my biggest supporter. She always like pushes me to try new things and to stick with it. So I feel like especially still being in clubs since a young age, like gymnastics is a really hard sport to stick with, especially because like the mental toll it takes on the mental and physical toll it can take on your body. Mm -hmm. So I feel like them just like supporting me in what I want to do with gymnastics over the past couple of years has been really helpful. And what will you miss from being down at the gymnastics room? I know that might be a hard question, <laughs> but I know it's the senioritis is yeah. dwindling down our senior <laughs> year. So just your thoughts in total. Well, I'm going to miss doing all of the flips, of course. And also like my team, I feel like all four years, like we've grown so close to each other and it's definitely going to be sad to leave it. Yeah, I, I definitely think 
just kind of competing with everyone like the little things that happen in between the events I'm probably gonna miss like just joking around with our teammates or even after the meet when we like if we win we're all in like a good mood and I don't know just going out to eat after I think just being a part of the team in general is something I'm gonna, that I'm gonna miss a lot. Um, what are you gonna miss from Michelle? Oh, she's so funny. Yeah. I think sometimes at practice she's just she just looks at us and she's like, "What are you guys doing?" <laughs> yeah. And we're just like, "I think I did see her. Yeah. I yeah. seen her doing like, what are you guys she's doing?'" She's like, "What are you doing?" And we're just like, "We're just living life. Yeah. Like, fun. I don't know." I feel like also her advice. She has, mm -hmm. she's got a lot of advice to give and I'm gonna miss that yeah too. not only about gymnastics but also like yeah. social life and aspects about that like you could you could go to her we could talk about our day at school and she would listen yeah. even if it's not about gymnastics she'll be there mm -hmm. and talk about the assistant coach I know that is her sister just talk a little about her a little bit oh my god I love we Lisa. love her <laughs> I'm so happy that she was able to join was it two years ago yeah or three, two or three know. years ago. But yeah, she's so funny. She she will always put us in the best mood and mm -hmm. she's always trying to do new skills also. She's oh, yeah. like, I gotta do my kip on bars. And I'm like, yes, mm -hmm. Lisa. And so, does, so does she Does she like do the, like the flips and stuff? Or she, <laughs> she, she does like smaller skills. Okay. She'll also like do like our warm up mm -hmm. and like if we have um, conditioning. Yeah, conditioning, right. she'll, she'll conditioning do it with, with us. us. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely another one of our biggest supporters yeah <laughs> she's always like wow i can't believe you guys do this <laughs> she's always just so amazed with us yeah so let's talk about college plans do we have any yet or still in the works i mean i plan on going to college um i don't think i'm gonna do gymnastics unfortunately i don't think my body can handle it anymore <laughs> it does take a toll yeah um i'm still trying to figure out where i'm going to college i might do club if they have it yeah. but Probably not, because what Rachel said, my body's been through enough. Yeah. But maybe if they have it. And do we have any hopes or dreams for your gymnastics career in the future? I know you just yeah. said you probably won't be doing it, but... Uh, Unfortunately, no. Um, I, I think, like, if my college does have it, I think I would join, because it just has been such, like, a big part of my life over these past, over these past years, but... I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's a maybe too. Same yeah. thing as she said. Maybe club. Yeah. Well, Caroline, Rachel, thank you, ladies, for coming on to the sports hub. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Hi, I'm Alex Fowler, and this is the B News Sports Hub Player Spotlight. Just the entire gymnastics atmosphere is so like, it's kind of an individual sport just because you're competing alone, but the team and the coaches just make it feel so together. Michelle's great. She's the most flexible high school coach I've ever had. She has gymnastics experience. She has, she has her own kids, so she, and she's a teacher, so she's just, she's amazing. The best coach I've had all high school year. I think maybe my teammates would say beam, but beam kind of scares me and I kind of like to do floor in the dance. I definitely hope to do like a club gymnastics team in college. I know some of the other seniors are doing gymnastics. I just hope we leave it on a good foot. All right, welcome back to the Sports Hub. I'm here with the other two captains, Ava Shink Davis and Camila Palayo. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Okay. <laughs> nice to be here. Great to be here on this great set. Just talk about how far you got this season with that undefeated record. Um, I am really proud with how we're doing this season. I didn't know how it was going to turn out since we lost some great people last year. But I'm just truly so proud of the team, and I'm just so excited, and I want to keep our streak going. I'm honestly just so happy that we've been able to make it this far and we really have like bonded as a team in order to make that happen. So talk about the changes that have been made this season. Um, well like some of us got hurt so we weren't at like our fullest and then some of the people last year that we had in lineup left and went to college but we've been doing great with all of that. 
I think there's been a lot of changes in the lineups compared to last year, especially with all our new members and then um, due to like members like leaving like the last year seniors, but um, injuries contributed a lot to like the changes in those lineups. Um, but everybody has been able to come together and um, pick up after one another. And I think everybody's also doing better physically. So it's been great. So how are you motivating the teams, the team as captains? Honestly, just trying to like have fun with everybody and just cheering them up and remind them that it's just high school gymnastics. Like, it's not stressful. There's no need to be stressed. Like, it's overall just to have a good time. Um, I'm not captain, but as a senior, um, I think it's good that I've already had a lot of bonding with um, teammates on the high school team that I do all have in club as well. Um, so just making sure that we're there to support each other, talk each other through practice and competition, um, and making sure we're all healthy and happy is very important. So how do you ladies help the underclassmen become better athletes? I just like try to help them like understand like how to like, I don't really, just like how to like compose themselves because sometimes people get like really stressed and really nervous about meets and they really don't need to get all that overworked and then just to remind them to like have fun. Like, it doesn't need to be that stressful and just, like, help calming them down and, like, settling the nerves. I think recognizing that high school is definitely a little more different than club. Um, gymnastics is such an individual sport, but when it comes to high school, it's there's so much team effort put into it. And I think it definitely relieves a lot of pressure um, for the individual competing each event. So making sure we remind um, our teammates of that is very important in order to do well. So how has... Coach Gillis or Michelle, uh, helped you ladies along the way just during the meets and stuff. Do you want me to go? You can go first. <laughs> um, well, like when I first started high school, she helped remind me that like it is a team sport and it's not like as individual and I didn't need to like stress out all that much about it. And she's very like relaxed with my schedule as I'm at my club gymnastics all the time. And she just understands like what I need to help my body stay healthy. Um, Michelle has been really welcoming, especially since I started my junior year of high school. I did not start earlier due to other reasons, um, but she was just very open to getting to know me and support me, supporting me throughout the entire season last year and this year. And I think I just really appreciate that within a coach because it's important to um, understand your um, the kids that you're coaching and um, I guess build a great relationship with them in order to do well. So let's talk about senior night. Your thoughts, everyone there, just emotions happening. It was honestly just really great. It re made me really happy. And I was happy that we won. That just like added to the night. But it was just, it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was so nice to have so much support. I think um, gymnastics is definitely not a sport that as many of um, the students here at BHS go to. And I felt like on senior night, we definitely had more support from friends, families, and um, even siblings from Burlington area and stuff. And I think that was honestly a surreal moment because we felt m more supported than we ever had. And um, it was really appreciated. So talk about the team bondings on the mat, practices, and so forth. We like honestly just have a lot of fun with each other and we just like dance around and goof off. <laughs> Not all the time, but like we do a lot and that honestly just really helps and we're just really close to each other. Um, a lot of pasta parties, team dinners, um, making sure that everybody has a ride to get to anywhere we need to go. Um, I think it's really important that we share those experiences in order to create a better bond as a team and I think it also has made us become a lot closer in, um, in a lot of friendships and it's really helped overall. And I know like um, hopefully the underclassmen can continue these bonding moments um, as they get older as well, even when we're gone as seniors. And just talk about how did you get involved with the gymnastics program? Um, my freshman year I heard about it from a friend that did the team before me and she said just to join it, it wasn't as stressful as club and I would just like it. It's like a nice easy thing to be a part of and so then I joined it. Um, my friend Caroline actually ta told me about it sophomore year, um, but I unfortunately didn't join the team. But then junior year, um, Alex Fowler, the other captain, she had really convinced me to join the team and I felt really supported in order to do so. So then I had, and I definitely regret not doing it prior, but I'm happy where I am now, so. So what's your favorite part about being on this team? 
like literally everything. I enjoy every moment of it. I truly do love high school gymnastics. I love the team part. I love competing like as a team and not like per like my own sake to like win for myself. But I really do love the team part of it. Yeah, I would say team as well. I've created such a great bond with like a bunch of people and I think it's helped me a lot just on my own. And um, I really appreciate the friendships that I've made throughout the way. And I hope to cherish that even out of high school, so. So talk about competitions. We got family, judges. Um, I truly love competing in front of people. I just like putting on a show, I guess, as one might say. But floor, I truly do love like showing off and just having fun out there and showing like my family and the judges like how hard I worked and like just to show them my routines. Gymnastics is definitely a sport that's meant to perform and I think it's really exciting to be able to show off what you can do, especially when this is a sport that you have to take a lot of time and effort to put into in order to do well. So um, it's definitely not something everybody can do. So when you're, when you're able to put yourself out there and do well, it's very rewarding and I really do appreciate that at competitions. Favorite part about being a gymnast? Honestly, everything. I love being able to like flip around and get my energy out that way. But I also love like all the friendships I've made through gymnastics and all the places I've been because of gymnastics. It gave me so many different experiences that I wouldn't get without gymnastics and all the lessons that it really taught me and just like self growth that I just had through it. Gymnastics it has definitely taught me a lot. Many lessons, many, um, had many difficulties, many uprises, like all together, it's just been quite an experience. And I think, you know, my favorite part is definitely the people who were involved and um, showed a different kind of support that I have never received before. And I really appreciate that. And it's helped me learned a lot that I can apply to later in my life. Favorite event to compete in? Um, I really love competing bars, but especially floor. I love just like going out and just dancing around. It's really so fun to me. Ever since I started gymnastics, I think it's always been beam and vault. And I think it's continuing to stay that way. <laughs> so how have your families helped you along the way? Uh, they've helped me in so many different ways, just like supporting me when I didn't think I could do it, taking me to the ER every other month because I got hurt. Oh. Um, just like always being there for me and just like really encouraging me and telling me that like I can do this. This is something that I'm like capable of. As someone who started gymnastics at 12 years old, which is pretty late compared to an average gymnast, I think my parents have been very supportive in um, making sure that I felt confident and um, could improve in gymnastics without getting hurt and they've also taken me to the hospital many times as well ER six injuries they've always been there to support me constantly um, they were never too hard on me never pressured me too much um, just always supported me and what I wanted to do so senior year is slowly winding down so let's just talk a little about what you're gonna miss from being in that room with all the teammates competing with everybody in practices just like the whole environment and just every aspect to it. Like I'm going to miss everyone on the team. Like I truly am really good friends with all of them. Just like all the fun that we had, like all the memories we had there and just competing with them. Like I am going to do it in college, but it's not going to be the same because I'm not going to be with the same people. I think it's the support that I like to give everybody else. Um, that's a big one. I, I do like cheering my teammates on and um, remembering their routines and doing it with them and giving them hugs and high fives at the end like that's definitely something that I think I'm going to cherish a lot for sure. So we do know plans for college for you. Cornell University you will be continuing. What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to like all the new experiences that I'll get there being able to compete as a college athlete like all the different things all the lessons that I'm going to learn and all the new friends I'm going to make. Um, I mean after high school I did apply to colleges that have club teams and um, also they do D1, not for me, but I'm hoping <laughs> that like I can continue um, getting into the gym every once in a while when I come back for break. Also my club gym is available. My sister is on the high school team so I'm planning on continuing to support her here and that's going to be exciting. Plans for the future with gymnastics? Thinking about joining? I know we already talked about <laughs> that you'll be joining. Any ideas or? Um, I mean, future, future, I think I've always wanted to possibly judge. So maybe in the future, that could be something that I do. Um, otherwise, I 
I mean, I think I'm going to be more focused on school. Um, but every once in a while, I definitely want to get back into the gym and see what I can still do. And lastly, what will you both, both miss overall from the entire experience? Just like I, everything. Like, there's not one thing I can pinpoint about, like, I'll miss that the most. Just like all of my teammates, like the coaches, just our fun, silly little memories, like just all the fun that we have in practices, at the meets, just everything. I think for Michelle and Lisa, my two coaches, they've definitely pushed me and not too much, but to the point to where I never knew I could be. And I think I really appreciate that, at least for my last year, they, could have, they showed me that I'm able to do more than I ever thought I could with the support of my team. And I really appreciate that and I'll miss that a lot. Well, thank you ladies for coming on to the Sports Hub. Thanks again to all our guests and crew this evening. And thank you all for watching. I'm Robert Paris and this has been B News Sports Hub. We'll see you next time and go Devils!